the difference between the Republic of Congo and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Hello Displorers, welcome back to another exciting video presented to you by Displore and thanks for watching. In this video we shall be presenting the major differences between the Republic of Congo and the Democratic Republic of Congo. These two countries are probably the most confusing countries in the world and most often mix up when referring to one or the other. Unlike Korea and Sudan which were initially one country before separating, the Congos have never been a single country. These countries are so similar in several ways. For example, citizens from both countries are referred to as Congolese. Both countries have French as their official languages. Christianity is the main religion in both countries. And both countries have the most natural resources in Africa, not forgetting the fact that both countries are members of the African Union. Despite these similarities, however, these countries have some differences which are a bone of contention. But before we get diving into these major differences between the two countries, if you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Background The name Congo originates from a river which was named after the Kingdom of Congo. The kingdom in turn was named after the indigenous Bantu Congo people known in the 17th century as AC Congo. During the scramble and colonization of Africa, the area of land separated by the Congo River was awarded to both France and Belgium during the Berlin Conference in 1884. Though what is today known as the Democratic Republic of the Congo was a Belgian colony, it didn't really become a Belgian colony until 1908. Before that, it was known as the Congo Free State and was privately owned by King Leopold II. Though he managed to convince the international community that he was the best ruler of the area, his rule was marred with so much pain and misery. It was for that reason that Belgium reluctantly took control over the area. To make a distinction between both colonies, Belgium called its colony Belgian Congo, while France called theirs French Congo. After both countries got their independence in 1960, the name became even more confusing. Belgian Congo became the Republic of Congo, while French Congo also became the Republic of Congo. The only thing used to differentiate both countries were their capital cities. Congo Brazzaville for former French Congo and Congo Leopoldville for former Belgian Congo. Two years later, Congo Leopoldville changed its name to what we know today as the Democratic Republic of the Congo and the country's capital city was changed too from Leopoldville to Kinshasa. A few years after the independence of the Democratic Republic of Congo, the country went into a crisis which is today known as the Congo Crisis, which led to many dead and the assassination of the very first elected Prime Minister, Patrice Lumumba. Power was seized by Mobutu Sese Seko, who later on changed the name of the country to the Republic of Zaire in 1971. The Republic of Congo on the riverside also changed its name to the People's Republic of Congo in 1969 after several turmoil in the country. Both countries eventually changed their names again in the 90s. The People's Republic of Congo returned to its former name in 1992, while Zai returned to the Democratic Republic of Congo in 1997. With the backstory of both countries out of the way, let's now dive in the differences between both countries. To begin with, both countries got their independence on two separate dates. The DRC got its independence from Belgium on June 30, 1960, while the Republic of Congo got theirs 45 days later on August 15, 1960. The Democratic Republic of the Congo is way larger than the Republic of Congo, both in surface area and population. To put this in perspective, the Democratic Republic of Congo is the second largest country in Africa by surface area after Algeria with over 2.3 million square kilometers. The Republic of Congo comes in at 27 place with 342,000 square kilometers, meaning the DRC is seven times larger than the Republic of Congo. With regards to population, DRC comes in at fourth place in Africa with over 100 million people, while the Republic of Congo has over 5.5 million people meaning DRC is 20 times more populated than the Republic of Congo. Another very obvious way people use to differentiate both countries is by attaching the capital cities to their names. Most people generally use Congo Brazzaville while referring to the Republic of Congo and Congo Kinshasa when referring to the Democratic Republic of Congo. Both capital cities are so close one can literally see buildings in the order. Kinshasa and Brazzaville are actually the second closest cities in the world after Rome and Vatican City. Though both countries are located in Central Africa, the Democratic Republic of the Congo is not part of the Communauté Économique et Monétaire de l'Afrique Centrale CEMAC. Both countries have different currencies despite being found in the same sub-region. While the Republic of Congo uses Central African Franc CFA, the DRC uses the Congolese Franc. Talking about currency, the CFA used by the Republic of Congo is three times stronger than the Congolese Franc used by DRC. One US dollar is equivalent to 590 CFA, while one US dollar is equivalent to 1810 Congolese francs. When it comes to gross domestic product GDP, the DRC has a much higher GDP than the Republic of Congo. However, the Republic of Congo enjoys a higher standard of living than the DRC. This is because the Republic of Congo has a way higher per capita income than the DRC. 
The per capita income of DRC currently stands at $808, while that of the Republic of Congo stands at $2,448. The Republic of Congo allows dual nationality, meaning citizens of the Republic of Congo can adopt another nationality while keeping their Congolese nationality, while their opposite neighbors, the Democratic Republic of Congo, does not allow dual nationality. In conclusion, service area, population, currency, standard of living, and nationality are some of the factors that set these two countries apart despite their being so similar. Thanks for watching this video. If you did enjoy this video, do well to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.